We're about to fly to Chicago to confront a scammer face to face. He's a scammer pretending to run a foster home, but really is collecting and laundering money from a Craigslist employment scam. The scammer's name is Mariah Tora, and this is not the first time that we've baited and exposed this scammer. We're about to confront one of her money mules in Chicago face to face, but before we do, let's take a closer look at her scam. A few months ago, we started baiting Mariah from her phony Craigslist job ad. The ad claims to be hiring for a remote personal assistant, but ultimately the victim is scammed out of money after being sent a fake check. I assumed the identity of Chase Chapman and spent many hours applying for the job, talking to Mariah, wasting her time and exposing her methods. Once I got hired, she sent me a fake check, asking me to forward money via Cash App to a recipient as my first task as her assistant. For a real victim, once that money is sent, the check would then bounce, thus leading to the victim losing whatever money they had sent forever. In our case, we were able to string her along for weeks and even got her to record a video for me. Hey Chain, how are you doing? Sorry I made you cry. Can you please go ahead and complete the task because we have a lot of work to do next week. Thank you, bye. Now fast forward to last month, I received an email from an anonymous viewer of Trilogy Media saying that they had been baiting Mariah as well, leading to her actually requesting that he send cash in a package to a foster home located in Chicago. With this new development, we then baited Mariah a second time, this time posing as Susan Shepard. Mariah was none the wiser, and this time when she sent Susan the check, I made sure to insist that I could only send money via snail mail to see if she would give Susan a physical address. And lo and behold, she did. She told Susan to send $2,550 in cash to the same address that she had sent our viewer, with the same receiver's name for the same foster home. Ted Dino of Glory Foster Home in Chicago. With Mariah now expecting large amounts of cash from both Susan and our viewer to be delivered to Ted Dino, it's time for Trilogy Media to show up and confront Ted Dino face to face. Ted Dino. So, now she's also saying send it to a glory foster home. It's not a thing, but it's in here. What address is this? We're gonna, oh, we're gonna have fun. We've sent an empty package. We've given Mariah the tracking number. And now, it's time to go. We're about to confront Ted Dino face to face, but before we do, I'd like to say thank you to the sponsor of this video, RoboKiller. RoboKiller is an app that automatically blocks robocalls, telemarketers, and scam calls from even ringing on your phone. Robocalls have been a constant annoyance for years and it's only getting worse. We've had the pleasure of working with RoboKiller for over four years and I have been using RoboKiller on my personal phone every single day since. The coolest thing about RoboKiller is that it not only blocks the spam calls from ringing on your phone, but it actually helps you get revenge against the scam callers. With their huge library of answer bots, you can assign audio recordings that will play to the spammers, making them believe that they're talking to a real person. And of course, it's all recorded and saved in the app, so you can listen back to it and laugh later. Art and myself have dozens of answer bots that we've created that are in the app that you can use in your phone right now. Are scammers calling you constantly? Don't waste your time answering them or sending them to voicemail. Let Art answer it while he's farting in a library. Hello? Ah! I'm, I, hold on one second. Or let me answer it from Area 51. You need to stall him. What's going on? I got Area 51 on the phone no. here somehow, and they're flipping out that we have their number. You may even find some of your favorite Trilogy Media characters in there as well. Yeah, what, so what, 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 are you, what are we doing over here? These answer bots have been so much fun to create and listen back to that Art and I have even made reaction videos on our channel listening back to real calls that have been intercepted by the app. Try RoboKiller for free for seven days, and please use the link below in the description so that they know Trilogy Media sent you. It helps us to continue making videos just like this one. Now, back to the action.
Drive by from what we saw on the Google Maps, it was like a one big building. And so we're not we're not sure if it's you need to see if foster there's like a foster home. Well, even not even that, just the, it's going to apartment one. So we need to see if like there's a communal entrance or yeah. if there's a the apartments are labeled on the outside or what. I have a feeling it's probably going to be one main entrance we have to get into somehow. What's the number? 22. 22. Never mind. Okay, it's here though. It's yeah. one of these on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's this bright one here. I remember this on Google Maps. Yes. This bright one yeah. right here. That's the one. It looks like there's a call box. It's now it's apartment. It's like that fucker lives there. Mm -hmm. So let's just walk through the options here. You're gonna go to the call box. If you get buzzed in, what's the approach here? Our, the approach our... I have to wait when you guys are gonna come. So um, you, so I will I will let you in. All right, boys. Let's go see who is who is this fucking dad. Maybe it's a teddy bear. Dad.
Taking some pictures. Um, looking for Ted Dino for delivery. He does not live here. Who? Uh, Ted Dino. No. You guys not expecting package today? I said no. So why would you ask? Me? Oh no, no, I'm just checking because it says like delivery for these. That's not my address. Okay. Well, that's my address. There's nobody that's here. Okay. But there's nobody that who is Ted Dino. That's interesting. Cool. For this one, it's specifically for that person, but if you not Ted, then disregard it. But why, why did you buzz me in then? What did you say on the buzzer? Nothing. That's weird. Do a little research. That's bizarre. But he answered the door. Man, you should have asked if, if this was the children's home or whatever. I thought so, but it's, it's... He was already so put off by... He seemed genuinely... I mean, he was a dick, but he seemed genuinely not aware of anything. But as you can see, it's a private apartment building. There is no foster home. No foster home, no. So, foster home. It's a bullshit, it's just like, it's just a way of uh, taking uh, money from people saying this is for the kids, but it goes to somebody else's apartment, to his apartment. Maybe he's just fucking lying. Why would he, why though? Think about it. If he, if he was the guy, knowing that there is cash coming, right, why would he, why would he, why would he be yeah. so adamant to yeah. deny it? Yeah, knowing knowing that the, there is possibility of few thousand dollars that's gonna go to you. I mean, either way, if he's a victim or a mule, an unknowing mule, yeah, that's true. he wouldn't be that adamant about yeah. not knowing yeah. that person. I feel like, I feel like he would have been more like, yeah, that's he would have been more questioning you, not necessarily denying identity. I don't know. Let me see, Ted, Dino, right? Maybe we can call Mariah and ask that question that, you know, like, that you received since you, Susan, that you, we can send an email and say, like, hey, we received an email that they cannot deliver. What's Let me just say I'm at FedEx, but they won't deliver without Ted's phone number. Okay, there we go. This is bizarre. Very bizarre. But if there is cash, and it's somebody has to pick, pick that up, 
if there's that guy is lying, but why would he lie if he's waiting for mm -hmm. for for a package? Mm -hmm. This is so freaking. You guys have to question that guy though. How though? Like we we well we can open up like and we can go back. You gotta ask him. You gotta go buzz back. in yeah. and you gotta ask him yeah. about. Be like, hey, yeah. dude, we need resolution. We yeah. got a package for this children's. Like you should have asked yeah. him those questions. He was like very again, you know. Now we we talking. We can go back, and I think we should. Be I honest. get it, but you gotta put you gotta empathize with people. So like, say he is a fucking scam artist. Ted Dino might be his fake name. So if people ask for Ted Dino, he's instantly going to be like, no. And he's really clever. So he looked at the package, saw there was no post thing, saw you're not wearing a UPS shirt. He's putting two and two to two together. And he's just like, dude, I'm not what like, that's how a scam artist would think. But if he is a scam artist, then he's not going to come clean. Like if us going to question him is not going to serve a purpose because he's going to deny everything. It would only serve a purpose if he's a victim that is confused. But yeah. I don't think he's confused because he was very adamant about it, having no affiliation with that name. A, a victim wouldn't be that secretive. I yeah, like. all victims that we, they, they told us all the information. They'll answer the question. They answer the question. They might be confused, but they'll talk. They always talk. Yeah, this guy, he was like, no, that's not me. I told you, this person does not live here. Like, what else do you want? Be like, well, this address is where I was told to send this package to a children's hospital or whatever. Can you tell me, uh, do you know anything about that? Like... I think again, you're right. Let's go back and let's try push him. If that it doesn't, uh, if that doesn't work, switch to like, yo, this is who we are. We this is what we do. And there is a scammer using this address, this name, and you live at this address. Why scammer? Why scammer would use that address? Yeah, but if it's, we have nothing to stand on if that isn't his name. You know what I mean? Like it's easier when you can say, yeah, I'm Ted. You know, and then we have something to go on. But. We literally have nothing other than an Besides address. Besides his address. But that's why I think you should have laid it out on the table or something, you know? Or like, we should, because then maybe we'll get something. We'll see if he, if he, even, if he is going even uh, buzz me in, because already, but um, maybe somebody else is going to be walking in and I can go back and knock and try to talk to him. What? We're in a really bad position with that stairwell and not seeing inside of his place. If he is a scammer, we don't know if he's got a fucking gun behind the door. Like, there's just a lot of unknowns okay, there. Okay, well, let's go. You guys wait outside. I'm gonna go by myself, and I will try to bring bring, bring him, him out. out. That's that's all I can do. not buzzing me in yo just hit them all hit all the apartments see if someone will let you in
Hi, uh, can you uh, uh, let me in? I just want to bring the package. Thank you.